Feeling lost can be difficult when you look around and realise you have no idea what you should be doing or why you might be feeling unfulfilled. You might spend lots of time being busy but nothing seems to satisfy you or you just don't know what to do with yourself. You try different things but nothing seems to just fit. In this video I'm going to share a simple activity you can do in your journal that can help you find your way a little. But first, why do we end up feeling lost sometimes? Here are a few things to think about. Drift syndrome, when you've drifted into things unintentionally like a job, suddenly one day you wonder how you got there. Being too busy to spend time on what's important to you. If you're always too busy for your passions, you will always feel like something is missing. Cognitive overload, when your mind is too full in day-to-day life and you have no system for offloading. You end up feeling lost and overwhelmed. Unrealistic expectations based on what you see on social media making you feel like a failure. Not being clear on why you do the things that you do, which can make you feel that what you're doing lacks meaning. Not being aware of your personal values and then getting caught up in what others are doing rather than what you really want. Or not believing in yourself enough and therefore not taking action. At a time like this, it's important to reconnect with what you value, thinking about what matters to you. And we're going to do a journaling exercise that helps you do just that. Keep an eye out for more in this journaling series and subscribe if you haven't already. I have a journaling exercise for pretty much every feeling and situation you can think of which I'll be sharing in this series to help you carve out some time in your day for some quiet reflection. If there's a scenario that you want a journaling activity for, let me know in the comments. Core values are your deepest beliefs and can guide your behaviour throughout your life. So the first prompt in this exercise is to ask yourself, what are your core values? If you're clear about what you value, you'll be able to find ways to feel much more aligned with your values and feel slightly more fulfilled. Here's a list of some common core values to give you some ideas. Write down the values that resonate with you strongly at this point in time. Taking the time to just write this down on a page is a calming activity in itself and you might actually start to feel a lot better just by reminding yourself of what you value. You can just write up the list on a page, or if you feel like being creative and find it therapeutic, then you can enjoy decorating your page a little like I did, and it will add to the calming vibes. Now you're going to divide the page up into thirds and think about three of the values that stand out to you the most, right now. Anything that jumps out at you that feels highly relevant right now. For my current situation, I chose family, purpose and enjoyment. Now we're going to take each one and write a bit about them. Depending on how you're feeling right now, you might just want to write a bit about why it's important to you, what it means to you, what it makes you feel, and if you're ready after that, what makes you feel more connected to those values. I'm going to write about what I want to focus on in relation to the values I've chosen and some simple intentions that can help me feel aligned with them. For example, if you chose relationships, Think about which relationships it is that you want to focus on and why. Then some things you can do to nurture those relationships. Maybe it's visiting your mum once a week or spending time thinking about ways you can help a friend going through a difficult time. My first one is family because my kids are young and their growth and our bond is a big focus for me at the moment. So I listed some ways I can contribute to their learning and growth and times in the day that I can arrange to be free for them, physically and mentally, and ideas for getting quality time together.
The next one I chose was purpose. I believe that everyone has something to offer the world and for the last couple of years I've been trying to find ways to make a positive contribution through my videos, my newsletter and my blog. As I grow and develop and reflect on life I want to share what I can in the hope that it can help others too. So my intentions focus on my learning, sharing from the heart and ways for me to stay energised and inspired so I can contribute more. Finally, I have enjoyment. I recently turned 36, which can be a time in your life that you get caught up in work, chores and responsibilities and forget to enjoy yourself. There are a lot of good years ahead of me and I want to make sure I'm enjoying them through my work, my passions and with my loved ones. Luckily, a lot of my fun comes from simple things like hiking, yoga, creating, reading, playing games. But I also miss the fun that comes from exploring and travelling, which was much easier to do on a stable corporate salary. So it was helpful to identify that as a contributing factor to my enjoyment too. Use this video to take the time out of your day to think about what matters to you right now. Think about how you can move a little closer to the things that you value. Narrow it down to just a few values to focus on right now and this can help you live more intentionally and prioritise what's important to you during busy and chaotic times. In a world where you're constantly being told how to live, it's helpful to take the time to think about a life that is meaningful to you. Leave a comment down below with one or more of your values and I'm sure that we'll see, despite what we find on social media, deep down, we all have a lot in common. Finally, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I initially joined Skillshare to develop my skills as a creator, and I took classes on video editing, photography and design. Then, along the way, I found lifestyle classes that have inspired me to think about my values and my own aspirations for my life. Recently, I took a class called Creating Your Dream Career. The teacher, Holly Coley Murchison, walks through some valuable exercises to help you reflect on your skills and desires and how to bring it together to achieve your dream career. What I really enjoyed was the class project where other members shared their vision of their dream career. Hearing about their goals, their fears and plans following the class was incredibly motivating and encouraging and I feel it will help me continue pursuing my own creative journey and put my skills to work. If you're interested in growing any of your skills and taking classes on Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.